started enjoying photography back in the film days. I had to learn how my 1969 single lens reflex camera worked, managing shutter speeds and apertures to get the right balance. Exposure was always suspect, and you didn't know how well you did until you got the film developed and were able to see the images a week or two later. Today, with digital imaging, the exposure is taken care of for you, but you don't have much creative control over depth of field and shutter speeds. It is said that the best camera in the world is the camera you have in your hands right now. Most often these days, this is your cell phone. For the average snap shooter, this is okay, and there are a lot of exceptional images produced by the modern high-resolution cell phone cameras. There are, however, a couple of things that technology will probably never be able to do for you. One is the composition of the photograph, and the other is the decisive moment to hit the shutter. With the millions of images taken in these modern times, it follows that people that aren't artistic photographers will nail the right composition and timing occasionally. This is wonderful and can even make a person become interested in photography as art and give them the desire to learn more so that the happy event can occur by design instead of happenstance. I have always loved taking pictures of people, especially when I can catch them with natural expressions when they didn't know they were going to be photographed. I call these types of images impromptu portraits. I like to stand back from the crowd at some public event and use a zoom so that I don't intrude on the emotions of the gathering. The pictures you are seeing now have been taken over years of my digital imaging experience. The resolution of the cameras used varies from 6 to 24 megapixels. Some are actually grainy, but sometimes that is an artistic choice along with the black and white and sepia tone pictures. They range from relatives, friends, strangers, and even a selfie or two. I do very basic editing using very basic software. I mostly employ cropping, lightening, and darkening images, and I may choose to convert to black and white or make some other artistic decisions. Since I started in the film days, I still consider myself a photographer, not a graphic artist. If the image isn't suitable after making simple adjustments, it isn't a good photograph, so I discard it and move on to the next one. I hope you enjoy the slideshow. While I have made money on the side with my photography, I am no professional. I do it for the simple joy of creation and love it when others can appreciate the results. If I can prompt a moment of contemplation, my goal is accomplished. If a particular image catches your attention, please let me know in the comments. I hope you can appreciate the beauty that is all around you today.